What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to yet another episode. This week, I am finally completing these wheels for the Camaro. It's been a long time coming. From last week's episode, if you haven't checked that out, I mentioned just briefly about how two of the four were actually bent. So that put a stop in actually repainting these wheels um, until I got a expert opinion, which I will talk about in this episode later on. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, about a month ago, I just took this footage right here of what the original wheels looked like. They were painted uh, the factory body color from someone else. Um, this isn't the original color for this wheel. So I didn't film actually me uh, dustless blasting here because it was just so messy and it would ruin my camera. It took me four hours to do this. I used a power washer, a wand from Amazon, uh, dustless blasting wand. These are basically a one-time use item here and some cool slag, fine grit sand. And uh, I believe it took 100 pounds, 250 pound bags to complete this here. Metal. I have to get all this surface rust off from doing the dustless blasting. So I'm either gonna be using vinegar um, with a scotch bright um, and then another combination of just a wire wheel to get all around here. Uh, I got to spray all the sand out. That's still a little bit of sand in here and everything like that. Um, take this valve stems all out because I'll be getting new ones of those so I can paint it in properly. From the factory, these wheels, from what I researched online, they were never shiny or anything. So I have a rattle can um, that I'm gonna be using instead of the gun. This is my first time actually using a rattle can for wheels. Kind of weird because, you know, I always do uh, the base coat clear on everything is what I'm good at and familiar with. I had a hard time finding the correct color. So I'm just hoping that this can that I got is, it's supposed to be matching for the 73 Z28 wheels, but I'm gonna do a spray out card first and I'll show you guys what that looks like when I do a test panel. So from everything that I was looking up, this OER, which is, stands for Original Equipment Reproduction, this factory wheel coating is the closest that was meant for this 73 Z28 uh, to come to that kind of dull color match to begin with. So I'll be doing a spray out here of it. I just am curious what the, the thing's gonna look like before I just spray it with this. Let's see how this dries up. I'll do a little bit lighter coats when it comes to time so it's not as blotchy. They do have some factory indentations in them. So at first I thought when the original paint was on it, I thought someone ran the paint on each one of these. I thought they just piled on too much paint, but actually that is some factory indentations in the metal. So if my wheel turns out kind of weird looking on these edges, uh, just note it is due to these indentations that the wheel, um, how it was made and uh, not due to any runs in the paint. So let me clean this wheel up now and get started. I had these things all prepped, ready to paint and everything like that. And uh, looking at it just to make sure I was wheeling them down here on some level surface. And I noticed something on the side here and I don't know if it curves in, 
curves in this way, it's bent. So I talked to a guy, like a wheel medic guy, and he said to knock it back with a little bit of a heat and a piece of wood. I already tried that and uh, did not budge whatsoever. So I think he said 160 a piece to true these up and correct them. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. It's a lot of money, but at the same time, you don't wanna be skimping on wheels. And these are the original wheels to this car, so I can go ahead and buy brand new. I think one wheel was like 200 and some dollars, but still expensive and it's not gonna be the original wheel. So not only one, but two of these are like that. This is the worst one of the two. So I only have two good wheels out of the four. I do. I've never seen this wheel. Yeah, they're actually hard to come by. That's why I didn't want to like not have them straightened out. There was no wheels on there, and I think there's like random stampings on it. So right here, there was it's like an outward bend starting right there on the one. Same on the other one. Okay. I don't know if it's from flipping off the beauty rings or what over the years. I don't know. It's, it was really hard to try to slap it down. I even heated it up a little bit with the torch and tried to. Yeah, the Straight problem is it. this extends down further, so... Right. Yeah. Well, we have a... Are you gonna... There's a beauty ring goes over top yeah. of this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's all kind of wonky right. there. Yeah. Okay. What we'll probably have to do is put it on the tire machine, and then we have a wrench that's made to go over this and okay. manipulate it. Yeah. It may mark this up a little bit, but that's are right. you painting I'm these? painting them, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, um, well, what we're going to do is we're going to put them on the wheel balancer, mm -hmm. and we'll spin them, because the bead is what you have to worry about. Okay. Like, this doesn't mean anything, this lip here, uh, when it comes to a wheel. Okay. Anything that's on this bead is what you're going to pick up. Would that so, do any vibration wise and we left it? Oh, it wouldn't? Okay. It's all off it of this seals. bead and this bead. Okay. So what we do is we put them on a balancer and we measure both of these. Mm -hmm. So if this needs manipulated a little bit so that the beauty ring sits on there, okay. that's fine. Yeah, as long as you think whatever you want to do to it, I don't care as long as it... You just need them both to be true, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, I would just worry about vibration. We do a lot of the GTO, the five with the silver and yeah. the graphite, but mm -hmm. you know, Coker makes a lot of the stuff, but I, yeah. I gotta be honest with you, I've never, I've been messing around with cars for 40 years, I didn't have this Yeah. Yeah, fun. this was sitting forever, this car, so I don't know, it was, they were both flat, and then the wheels were, or the tires of course were just dry rot and just sunk on the ground, but pulled the tires off and saw it was damaged when I was going to pan, so. Okay. Yeah. Are they done? Yeah, we're uh, we're good. He said that they're actually they're gonna balance straight. Okay, so as you probably heard in that video, I'm just gonna run with these as they are and just hope for the best because it sounds like he knew what he's talking about and he was in business for quite some time so he said that the only thing that would be affected by the bending of this rim here or the wheel is the beauty ring is going to go on this and this is where the wheel weights sit so he said it should balance out fine and for the purpose of the camaro it's not like it's a low profile wheel or anything um, to have a thinner tire to be able to feel any vibration whatsoever at the speeds I'll be going. Now I just have to, I did one final scuff on this and then I have to clean again. Um, tip, I use glass cleaner. If you can't find any rubbing alcohol, it works really good, foams up and you could use this as a pre prep step to um, right before you paint or even better the rubbing alcohol as well. You could use that so I'll be using both on the inside and outside the wheel and then I'll show you what epoxy primer I'll be using when I get to that step. Have to take off the wheel weights. They're all there's just one one wheel weight on each one. So I gotta pop these off first, clean them, and then we'll start painting them with the epoxy primer. Mm -hmm. 
Now normally I would use lint-free paper towels, but since I don't have any, I'm just gonna use normal ones. These leave a residue behind, so you just gotta make sure you tack rag it pretty well before you hit it with any sort of primer. It's at least some dust particle from the um, paper towel behind. So I'm just wiping it down with alcohol really good, do this a couple times, and then I'll hit it with some glass cleaner as a final step. Okay, so I will be using what is called SPI epoxy um, primer, which SPI is just Southern Polyurethanes. Their company in Georgia, I based, um, really good company, and uh, their products are pretty reasonably priced. Uh, this is not a plug for them. I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I was. I just love using their products. Really easy to use for the DIYer at home. So this is again is an epoxy primer. I'm spraying down. Uh, it's just going to be the gray one. This particular epoxy primer is mixed one to one. Though so I'll be reducing this on top of everything, so that just means that I'll be thinning it out. That was just some normal Omni reducer. This takes any universal um, reducer you could mix this with if you do want to thin it out. Um, a lot of people just mix it and they go, but it's just a little bit hotter out. So I'm going to mix it. Just the gun if people want to are curious about what gun I use. Uh, this is my primer gun. It is the Air Gunza uh, by Iwata. So this has a 1.8 fluid tip on it, and that means that it's just a bigger tip to have uh, some of the paint flow out a little bit smoother. And uh, my other gun, Baseco Clear Coat gun. I love this gun. This is the Techno Pro Lite, and uh, I use this for all clear coat and base coat applications. But today I'm just going to be using this gun here for primer. It's a cruddy day out it's raining outside but at least it's gonna be a good day because I am finally gonna get these wheels done so this time I'm gonna be using the color coat 
Part number on this is K89310. It stands for shadow gray. And this is supposed to match anywhere from 71 and up um, for the Z28 wheels. Now I would normally be using base coat clear coat, but because I want to keep these as original as possible, I found out that this is should well this should be the best coating that we could use for in terms of sheen and the original color match. And uh, I just don't know, couldn't find any part numbers or color codes, I mean, to actually find a mixture of um, the base coat or even a single stage paint to paint on these wheels using a paint gun. So this is actually my first time using a spray can on the fronts of these wheels uh, or on any wheels in general. I always use a gun, but I'm pretty confident because I'll just mist it on lightly so you make sure there's no reactions. I know I prepped everything really well underneath, use a high quality epoxy primer, so I know everything's sealed. So I feel comfortable using a rattle can uh, as long as the paint matches. Definitely happy with the decision to go and take the extra two days to restrip all this down and grind out all these wheels because I can't see any of that dip wherever the weld marks were at at all. Uh, there's a couple little marks right here, but I mean, that's they're symmetrical, so they look like they're you know correct and supposed to be there. But that was a ton of work. I'm happy I did it though because it turns out way better product. I'm within the recoat window to apply this so I don't have to sand or scuff any of this epoxy primer down. So let's get started and show you guys how it looks. Here is the end result. Now I ordered Beauty Rings new ones that are the original brush finish like this one and also got the, the uh, caps with it as well on order. Uh, it's coming in about six days from now so I'll be able to get these tires mounted up whenever I get this in and I have new lug nuts on the way. But this is the best ring that I have to give you guys kind of a visual of what it looks like when they're complete. They have a bunch of dents and stuff around here. This is the best one like I said but these other ones, they just, they were just too beat up for doing all this work for the wheels and then putting some dented beauty rings on it. So I'm sure people will have an idea maybe if they can straighten them or whatever, but um, for the time versus the cost, I decided to go ahead and purchase a whole new um, four beauty rings with everything. Now also I have a question for you guys. These tires, they can be mounted two different ways with the white raised letters coming out as pictured now, or with just the black kind of sleeker look uh, mounted like that. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the white letters coming out or if you like the more sleeker look um, of just this sort of style right there with just the black. But that's gonna do it for this week. I appreciate you guys sticking around if you made it to the end. Uh, next week, finally gonna be pulling the engine getting into this thing a little bit more and actually getting serious.